Hello. In this video, we're going to take a look at the regions of operation of the MOSFET transistor. So, um, regions of operation, and uh, also we're going to plot the IV characteristic. So, MOSFET. IV characteristic or IV curve. Uh, first, let's imagine an N-channel MOS or N-MOS transistor. And the typical connections are going to be as follows. Let's assume that the source is connected to ground for simplicity. And so there's going to be some signal applied at the drain, uh, VDS, and some signal applied at the gate, VGS. This is again my gate, my drain, and my source. Um, and the first thing to note is, as we mentioned, um, as long as the gate voltage remains below the threshold voltage, there's going to be no conduction. And so we will have that uh, for VGS less than the threshold voltage VT. There is no channel. We mentioned transistor is in cutoff. That's what we call the cutoff region. And in that case, the current is simply equal to zero. Um, as soon as VGS becomes greater than or equal to the threshold voltage, then we have a channel induced underneath the gate. Um, and then any value or, uh, or any amount that we uh, bring the gate voltage beyond the threshold voltage, that's referred to as the overdrive voltage. And so after a channel is induced, then we can have some amount of overdrive, which is basically defined as the difference between VGS minus VT. And different things can happen depending on uh, the value of VDS. We have seen that uh, when uh, there's a channel induced, as long as VDS uh, remains less than the overdrive voltage, then the transistor is in its triode region. And in the triode region, the transistor behaves as a voltage control resistor with resistance controlled by, uh, the, by VGS. So, voltage controlled resistor. And basically, ID is proportional to the overdrive voltage or VDS. But as soon as VDS reaches the overdrive voltage or increases beyond the overdrive voltage, then we enter the saturation region, where the transistor behaves as a, a voltage-controlled current source, meaning the current is constant for increases in uh, the load voltage, and the amount of current just depends on the input voltage. So voltage controlled current source, we have another name for that type of device. We call it a transconductance device or a transconductance amplifier. And so basically, um, ID is dependent on uh, VGS as opposed to VDS. Okay. So Okay, now oh, up here, I meant to say the current is dependent on both. So ID is dependent on both VGS as well as VDS. Okay. Um, how do we represent that graphically? Well, first of all, uh, we can plot the current ID versus the input voltage, VGS. And we can say for small values of VGS, VGS below the threshold voltage, the current is zero. But as soon as we uh, go beyond the threshold voltage, the current increases um, with VGS. And so we can mark some point as this is my threshold voltage. And that's the point at which, by definition, the overdrive voltage is equal to zero. So we're on the verge of conducting some currents. Now, if I were to plot 
uh, my current with respect to VDS, I will come up with a family of curves for different values of VGS. First of all, if VGS is smaller uh, than the, the threshold voltage, my current is equal to zero. That will be the cutoff region. And then as VDS increases uh, beyond the threshold voltage, so perhaps I'm going to plot these things with different colors. So I'll plot my cutoff region in red. And then as VGS increases, we have initial behavior of current being dependent on VDS, but then eventually flattening out. And for different values of VGS, we have that the slope being greater and the borderline, border point between a trident and saturation uh, becoming increasingly higher. Not a very good rendering for a linear there. Something like that, uh, where the borderline between the triode and the saturation regions, this will be triode, that will be saturation. Um, it's given by is the point where VDS is exactly equal to the overdrive voltage VGS minus VT. And these lines will be, this will be for VGS being less than VT or overdrive equal to zero. This will be VGS1, VGS2, VGS3, where um, that's the direction of increasing VGS. Um, as VGS increases, my current becomes higher and higher. Um, and so the, the borderline between the saturation and the uh, triode region happens at different values of VDS, um, depending on which, which line I'm at. And that's a difference with respect to the VJT amplifier, where the saturation voltage, the borderline between uh, the, the saturation and the linear region was almost constant, was around 0.2.3 volts. Uh, in this case, it's going to depend on the value of VGS, the value of the input voltage. And so um, this point here will represent the value where VDS is equal to VOV1. This is VOV2. And this is VOV3. And that basically summarize, uh, summarizes the three regions of operation. So we have cutoff triode and saturation and again saturation is the one that we are going to use for uh, linear amplification typically if we wanted to uh, do a, the IV characteristic or determine the regions of operation for a PMOS transistor or a, also referred to as a P-channel uh, MOSFET transistor uh, it will be, we can do it just the same way. We will have to make a few changes. So for a PMOS device, um, we could keep all the signs the same uh, if we just revert uh, the subscripts, because essentially the polarities are different in a PMOS device. Uh, the source voltage is the higher voltage as opposed to the lower voltage. And so all the voltages with respect to the source voltage are going to be negative. Uh, but we can represent a negative value of VDS as simply a positive value of VSD, for example. So just by changing the order of the subscripts, we are referring to the opposite polarity. And so if this is my, um, my transistor, I could refer to this voltage as VSD.
the SG actually I have to represent it with respect to up there, so I'm just gonna delete the sources not to confuse things. So this is gonna be VSD, this is gonna be VSG, and then my uh, VT and VOV are gonna be negative voltages, meaning I have to drive my gate more negative if I want to turn on the transistor. Uh, but things sort of work out in terms of, if I just say uh, VSG is less than the absolute value of the threshold voltage, then that will correspond to cutoff. If VSG uh, is greater than or equal to the absolute value of the threshold, then I have a channel where the absolute value of VOV is equal to VSG minus the absolute value of VT. And so two things can happen. If my VSD is less than the absolute value of VOV, then I'm in triode. If VSD is uh, greater than the absolute value of VOV, then I'm in saturation. And uh, the curves will work exactly the same, except, of course, I'm representing um, for my input um, output current versus uh, input signal, I will have to represent versus VSG in order to keep things positive. And I will have a similar curve where I am representing, you know, this is the absolute value of my threshold voltage. And that's where my VOV is equal to zero. And then in the case of my ID versus uh, the output voltage as opposed to versus the input voltage, I will do it versus VSD in order to keep all my quantities the same. I'm just going to draw it with a single color. Basically, this is what it will look like. Where the, um, the border between the triode, triode and saturation regions is determined by the equation uh, VSD is equal to VOV. And this will be VSG1, VSG2, VSG3. Okay. And this will be the absolute values of VOV1 VOV2, etc. Um, so that's about it. Uh, one more thing worth mentioning uh, is that, again, this is a, uh, a transconductance device. And so uh, there is in the triode region, we mentioned that um, the slope of those curves was um, the inverse of the resistance. So we can represent that as follows. The inverse of our resistance has unit of transconductance, and so we have that you know, GM is equal to, or GDS perhaps we'll call it. One over um, RDS. So basically, the slope of this curve is one divided by um, by the resistance from drain to source, uh, and that's it. That's the IV characteristic for the MOSFET transistor. Thank you.